attention all fisher folk because we are at a very here's the entrance to a very very interesting property near Castanera de Pera. <laughs> it, and I'll uh, let Sarah explain just what it is we've got here. Okay. Well, we are. There's there's two entrances in here, one either side. We're on the crooks here. We're in a very very peaceful situation. Um, you are looking at an off grid sort of haven. We have two stone cottages, sheesh stone, beautiful. I mean, the stone is really, really straight, nice quality, proper roof on, very good. Water and electric are on the other side of the river. What, what roof? It's a proper roof on. If you put pop, 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 Oh, if you, if you <laughs> put a roof there. on. Popped a roof on, they right. would be very good. Right, okay. Yeah. He said this was one take. Right, okay. Uh, and the river. So on the other side of the river is electricity and water, or you just remain off grid, yeah. however you figure it out. Uh, but the stream runs all year round. And is teeming with brown trout. Apparently so. <laughs> they have been witnessed by, um, yeah. by Annette. Um, just to start here, because this little corner of uh, forest belongs to the property. And we shall start the journey. Yeah. There's a little pathway that goes off there to the right, um, but we shall go down the track. Um, our agent, Annette, she has brought her Volvo uh, V40 down here without any issue whatsoever. So, um, well, that's a bit bumpy. Hang on a minute. Can I <laughs> but a normal my, my, my... car can come down here. Look at that. Oh, look at that. What are they called again? Oh, fungus. Yeah, I know this. <laughs> <laughs> no, but they have a specific name. Don't yeah, they? but I mean, okay, yeah. who knows the name of that mushroom? Uh, um, please do comment. Right, so. Uh, I mean, basically, anything, we're, we're actually getting quite a few listings on uh, at the moment. So if you do want to keep in touch with what we're doing, please do like the video and subscribe to the channel. Yep, so we're just coming into, so we've got, we've got mimosa and there is some eucalyptus here, but as we go Cutting down, down. it Cutting is a down. beautiful, beautiful oak valley. Here's the first, first stone ruin, oh. which was only one story, but look at the stone. I mean, without going in, you can see that it's still completely straight and they did protect the, the roof with this row of tiles at one point, but yeah, the stone's yeah. been protected. The I'm walls gonna... are good. It just, as Sarah said, needs a roof popping on. Just, yeah, I might, okay, so you need a floor and you need, you know, a <laughs> few, few more extra things as just popping a roof on, but you've got a nice solid structure. Yeah, I mean, which would be beautiful. I mean, you know, they just make fabulous little holiday lets, I think. Yeah, if you come to the side and just look down, you'll just see it's completely straight very solid wall and then it opens up here to the views. Now you're probably just going to have a laugh as we stumble down the hill because yeah, well, down there is where we're going. Yeah but I'm just going to get more of this in if I can. Okay. Yeah, you can get spiked as well. Yeah it is all a bit spiky at the minute. We We've tried to get it cleaned but um, it's too advanced in the summer. Well, it's actually autumn now, but it hasn't rained. That's Annette being shy, not wanting to... <laughs> trying to hide. Not, not wanting to be in the shot, but... So, and we start getting to the oaks, and then it opens up. Now, there is another property here. The owners of the one we're selling here, but whose boundary is here, by the way, and just yeah. goes straight down there yeah. to the river at the bottom. Yeah, no one's ever been seen no going to the No one's ever other. been seen yeah. there. Yeah. Um, now, I think you should go up the steps and just take a little shot of the inside because it was very nice. And I think you're right. Oh. And I shall do that. And then I'll start traipsing Yeah, similar. Down. I mean, this has actually got an underneath as well, hasn't it? Yeah, which is why it's surprising when you get to the top of the stairs. Yeah. Just don't fall down. How many times do I say that per video? There you I go. Know, I wish you'd stop saying it <laughs> because I invariably fall down the moment you say it. Yeah. 
I mean, this is uh, altogether bigger than the yeah. other one. It's, it's quite surprising, isn't it, when you look from the inside. And yeah. it used to have an extra building on the outside here. I can tell from the, well, the stones, actually, look at that. They're embedded. So that was the start of another roof, but the stones were actually embedded in there. Something else came out here, didn't it? Yeah. Maybe you can't see there. I can't. Right. But so, um, maybe I can in a moment. We will try as quickly as we can to get down here. Well, I'm just getting shots of well, the buildings. I'm, yeah. All I meant was rather, rather than you watching us just get scraped and scrapped. But this is just fern, so I mean, this is so, so easy to clean. It's just, it's the wrong time of year. I know, I see it. what you mean. See what I mean? Yeah, there was another building here, yeah. But it was built in. When they built that house, yeah. they put it in there. I've never seen that before. No, I, ha I have once or twice. Right, so there is a sort of pathway. Uh, yeah, but should, should we find the boundary? Well, I, I did. It, it was at the top there. It's approximately here on my right. Is it? Yes. Okay. So if you come down here and then you look back at the property there, it looks completely different. It's far bigger. Yeah, no, that's quite a quite a lump of um, stone cottage actually. Yep. I feel like I'm in Scotland with all these ferns. So. And a northern lass behind me. Yeah, look at these trees. They're gorgeous. They oh, are really, ow. really gorgeous. Ow! 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 Yeah, I'm just going to take a little span of the views as well because they are really quite delightful. It's such a peaceful, lovely place, isn't it? It is very peaceful. And we're only 10 minutes from Castanera, which is Prairie de Rockers. Yeah. Good summer location. But to be honest, you've got the river. I mean, this, I imagine, in the winter would be quite a fast flowing river. Well, yeah. Because um, if they survive the summer, then you know that in the winter they're full. Here's the boundary. There's the old wall. So maybe we were slightly off on the boundary. It's a little yeah. bit difficult when it's not been cleared. We missed a little bit. But we know, we, we know what size it is. We know what it is. It's a, a, a gentle-ish slope down into a bit of a wonderland, on a really. Oh, look, what have I just found? It might just confuse us. Look. Well, let's not then. Okay. <laughs> oh, there it are. But that is important. There's one here. That's possibly the boundary marker. Yeah, but that doesn't make sense. But that doesn't make sense. So should we ignore that? No, we'll put it on the map. We'll put a map on the video. Which They're there make... for a reason, but I don't know well, what I'm it awesome. is. Yeah, but they could be for anything, couldn't they? Now this very much looks to me like Maybe it didn't have a building on it, it's just the retaining wall. Yeah. For a flat area. But you could easily put a, wood, a log cabin on there, that would be fabulous. Because it's essentially yeah. flat. And the river's just there, you just pump the water out. I mean, you know, it's a two, it's a two minute walk to the water's edge, I mean, you know, from the stone cabins, isn't it? It's not, um... Yeah. Look at these trees. If you look up, will you look up? I will. Because they're fabulous. And they oh. are just gorgeous. Ah. Oh, Sarah's off on a stumble. Ah. Don't worry. Um, so at some point, this was more cultivated because there's a load of what I think are kiwi vines down here. Oh, no, there's no question. They would have grown vegetables yeah, down but here. This is flat. Back That's in the, the day, stone retaining wall, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, they'd have been mad not to. You know, there'll be there'll be loads of lovely silt coming from when the you know when the rivers rise, um, and obviously access to water all the way year round. I mean, yeah. you'd be you'd be mad not to grow vegetables here, you know. So, and um, just off the boundary on the other side, there's uh, you can't see it from here, but I was just well, going to say. Shall we talk about what we can see? I was talking about the fishing. Oh, we'll do that. Okay. Come on. I want to see how brave I can get with getting 
or you can get balancing on a rock in the middle of the stream. Tree? Is Proof it a stream? Of water. Is it a brook? I never know the difference. No, well, but this, but this definitely turns into a river in the winter, so I don't know. You see, look, these are these are grapevines, aren't they? Oh, look, definitely grapevines. Grapes. Yeah, they are grapes. And yeah, I mean... All the way up the oak tree. This would have been... Well, they'll climb up anything, you know, if they're left to their own devices. They now, I mean, if you, when you see the price of this property, you're just going to go, wow. Yeah. Because you've got a very peaceful location where you could put in maybe a couple of your own vines. You're vined up. You've got vines attached. There you go. Um, you could maybe put in a couple of log cabins, rent them out for people's fishing weekend, something. You see, in all of that there, I can't tell if it's vines or if it's kiwi. I think maybe it's a mixture. Yeah. But it was, all must have been cultivated at some point. I know a guy that's gagging to build some like gypsy style caravan things. Oh my God, Paul, taking half of this. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? You can turn around just so people can see what you're actually doing. <laughs> <laughs> right, you, I thought it would just... You, you, you... I thought it would give way eventually, but I've been defeated by a, a plant. <laughs> Hang on. Oh, there we go. <laughs> right, you said this was the one safe with you. <laughs> Right, I've just had to do a 360 turn to unravel myself. From this. <laughs> yeah, I feel like Tarzan, I've got two Janes. <laughs> Go on, he's in the video, come on you. Right, so we need to be clear, where do we come off the boundary? So it's on these posts over there, isn't it? Yeah. Oi, oi, microphone. What have you got? What's that? Oh, Mike. Well done. Golly. See if you will get tangled up in all sorts of things. Yeah. Well okay. done, on that. That would have just saved us a bit of money and a bit of hassle. Yeah. That would have been a nightmare. It okay. would have been a nightmare. As we get to this corner, the river gets much deeper. Yeah. I mean, there's no point pretending that there isn't a building, the back of a building on the other side. Yeah, I know, but I mean, you know, you come down here to fish, you're not going to be bothered about that, are you? No, but it's, it's unused. Yeah. yeah, but you're not... Anywhere where you'd be living or staying, it's not really... No. It's only down here by the river. I, don't, I think it's too dangerous for you to get into the river, dear. Well, how did I get down before? Oh, don't be silly, you couldn't even cope with a vine. Yeah, I went up there. Yeah, you just don't get the flavour of it, though. Yeah, you don't need to. From you know, up here. You don't need to get down there, I don't think. Don't you? Come around here. You sure? I mean, we haven't really mentioned these fabulous oak trees much, have we? No, I tried to, and we just look at them. But I think these are fruits of some sort. Possibly. I'm just filming the back of your head at the moment. Right, that's lovely. Right, we're out. Okay, you can clamber down there if you want. Yeah. So is this our boundary? More or less. More or less. We've got the boopy drawings. It's a bit complicated to see it exactly. Yeah, I will put the drawings on the uh, on the video, as I said. Oh. And um, you, you can see. Down but, there, I mean, the important. Right, you a really big splash in a minute. Is that we've got moving a water, a, a moving fresh water source, and this Ooh. goes into the Prayer de Roches, so I'm um, um, believed. So it will be kept clean, and you can tell it is. I mean, it's absolutely crystal clear, crystal clear. Lovely. No doubt about that whatsoever. And just it's okay, just give it to me. Okay. So, why don't you just pan up the other side of the river? Yeah, I can't get it, I'll just filter it out. 
But yeah, it's just gorgeous. Go to your right. A lovely, 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 lovely place to um, to stay and to come fishing. I will just show you. I'll show you a picture that I took a little while ago. Um, because it is a fishing club, just about 20 metres up there. It is start of a uh, private waters and it's for a fishing club. It's the first port he's made. And Annette has been here, stood on the bridge up there and she used to, she used to have a brown troutery um, back in the day. And she knows all about brown trout and she said it was teeming with them and of a decent size. So, if fishing's your thing, and you fancy casting a line into uh, into here, then this is the place to do it. I said I was going to show you a picture of the thing. Well, actually, what we'll do is we'll we'll walk over because the uh, the brook I call it a brook. Sarah's calling it a river. Um, <laughs> kind of an in between. It does widen out. It's widening yeah, out here nicely. Yeah, I mean, there's plenty of um, uh, water. You could, because like these um, old factory units over there, I mean, you could actually park over there and walk across the bridge, I suppose, which is probably what the fishing club does. But here, I want to know, it's in, it's in Portuguese, <laughs> but uh, Conceição de Pesca Desportiva, and then a number. Oh, you're being so it's just saying that it's a fishing sports concession. That's all it actually means. And that is, this is not on, not on the actual land, but go over. yeah, I'll, I'll try not to fall. You're trapped in a vine in again. There, into the, in, into the river, brook, stream, whatever it is. <laughs> and um, anyway. So I think, okay, right. Because this is probably a bit of an ad hoc. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Stumbly sort of video. I'll pan around while you say goodbye to everybody. Yes, okay. I mean, this is down the bottom here. I know it's a bit of a, it's been a little bit of a hill to get up to the house, but down the bottom here, it's flat. It's beautiful. The trees are so tall. The shade is amazing. Yeah. Um, obviously, you've got water, and you could easily put some cabins down here. And apparently, this is absolutely teeming with little brown trout. Big brown, big brown trout. trout. Big, big, big brown trout. Not little brown trout. Yes. Well, well, big for brownies. From a lady that ran a trout farm. So, yeah. so the river water's got to be clean, otherwise they wouldn't live in it. So and there we go. There we go. So, yeah, if you look at the price, you're just going to say, wow. Okay. Um, nice to see you. Please do like and subscribe. See you next time. Ciao. Bye.